What's good, YouTubers and EHA fam? Finally, dropping a little video review of my Nintendo themed game box from Extreme Home Arcades. My most prized video game possession. I got this machine back in March, right before the quarantine hit. I was looking for, actually I was getting ready to design my own four player custom cabinet when I discovered, ran across uh, Extreme Home Arcades on the internet and saw their custom cab work and looked at their system and decided, you know what? Screw all that headache of making my own cabinet. I'm just gonna order a custom mega cage from these guys. So when I got a, got a hold of a David Lewis, the owner of Extreme Home Arcades on the phone to order a system, I discovered there was a nine month waiting list for, for one of his machines. And I was kind of just blown away by that. I wasn't prepared to wait nine months for for you know a system I was I wanted to get my game on right now so I asked him if he had anything you know ready to sell if he had a anything I could buy it you know just right then and there and he told me he had a, actually he had a game box I'm not sure if it was a, a demo or a canceled customer order but it, he had this machine right here so I ended up jumping on it This is powered by the Hyperspin system. It's loaded, preloaded with nearly 70,000 games, just a ton of content. It's got everything from all the old school arcade classics, all the old school consoles, Nintendo, Nintendo 64, GameCube, Sony PlayStation 1, 2, 3, you know, everything, just everything under the sun it seems like. Even newer arcade games and newer PC games are on here. You got your new Mad, the newest Mad, the newest NBA 2K, you know, 20 is on here. Just tons of stuff. All your Marvel versus Capcom games, all your Street Fighters, pinball. It's got a, a ton of future pinball and visual pinball tables on here. Just so much, so much stuff loaded on the system. This particular unit is powered by a i7 CPU. It's got a 10 terabyte hard drive with a two terabyte boot drive running Windows 10. Here on the control panel, you got your eight button layout, joysticks, player one, your coin button, your trackball. This is an authentic hap trackball. You got your, these, this also acts like a mouse for your window when you're on the windows. Uh, you got your left click, right click like a mouse. This is a four-way controller for the old school games like Pac-Man, Dig Dug, Donkey Kong, etc. Up front, you got your speakers and your amp. Right now, I have this going through the HDMI. So you got your uh, sound is coming through the TV. But if you're somewhere where you don't have a good sound system, you could just use your, your speakers up front. The whole system is super robust. It weighs about 35 pounds. It's solid. On the side, you got your buttons for pinball, which is great because it just has that natural authentic feel to, it's almost shoulder length, so it just really feels good to hit the, hit the buttons on the side like you're actually playing pinball. Out the back, you got your on and off switch, you got your power plug, your HDMI connection, and a USB connection for a keyboard or a mouse if you'd rather use a regular mouse to navigate. And you have a couple of drilled ventilated holes where the fans are pushing out some of the hot air from the inside. What I really like about Extreme Home Arcades is the amount of customization you could do. Obviously, I just bought this one the way it was, but you know, you could have illuminated buttons, illuminated trackball. You could have the flight stick over here. You could have your spinners if you want spinners on your machine. I mean, there's just so much customs that you change the button layout. I'm not positive, but I believe that you could uh, order with your machine, maybe authentic, like hat buttons or Sanwa buttons, if you'd rather have those. I'm not positive, but it might be a, something that, that they do, since they do so much customization. Another thing I forgot to mention is, uh, the they have a nice piece of plexiglass on there, and it's all nice and beveled. There's no sharp edges, so it's rounded, so all your corners are, nice and smooth there's not any sharp edges anywhere you got your a few screws here but you don't really notice those when you're gaming i've never scuffed my my knuckles or anything so it's 
really, you know, big change from the other game box I reviewed that had the really sharp, sharp corners. This is nice. Definitely appreciate it. Going the extra mile. Let's fire it up and check out the system and see some gameplay. Like your typical PC, takes a minute or two to boot up. Nothing too outrageous. Get a little video commercial from the 80s. Pretty much every time it boots up, by default, it loads a different little video of some game or particular system from back in the day. All you have to do is press press start or press down on the control stick and you'll skip that. And it'll go right to the, the main hyperspin wheel. Here's where basically where it starts out. Now these are all different games themselves or folders. Like for instance, arcade classics. This is a, every all the arcade games are listed under arcade classics. This is this is pretty much the main wheel. Like here you got your old classic golden tees, and here you have golden tee up to golden tee complete up to 2006. Or like Tiger Woods, there's no other Tiger Woods. This is just a Tiger Woods game, so it's not a folder. Tiger Woods, PGA, 2012. But let me go back up to the arcade classics right quick. So when you hit start button, load you right in. And everything's listed alphabetically. Get another wheel, basically. So not all games, but some games, if you stop on them, they'll show a little video preview on the side, give a little bit of information, a little bit of box art or something. There's thousands and thousands of games in this category, in this folder. And a quick way you could, uh, if you want to find the game you're looking for, if you hold left or right on the joystick, or if you hold right, it'll bring up alphabetical, so you could just jump right. Like if you want to find Dig Dug, I'll go right to D. And then I'll be able to go down. There we go. Just like that. Dig dug. To back out, to do it back to the main menu, just hit player one start and player two start. That takes you back out. There's so much. So, there's so much content on this system. Like, you just have so many different categories of Atari. Club. These are all arcade. You got your light gun game, shoot them up. Your, your consoles are kind of packed together in the same area at the bottom of the wheel. And it usually has all your arcade games and different, different arcade systems. Taito Classics, Williams Classics. Mugen, that's an awesome folder full of like home homemade or different type of user made fighting games. Not all fighting games, but mostly. You got flash games on here. You got games you could find, buy, you know, get off your mobile phone. You like the app store. The Thomas Wave, that's another arcade system. You got all your so you got you got different folders of games like this is full of different samurai showdowns. Here's where we got your visual pinball, your future pinball. Open up future pinball wheeler. So here you'll be able to find the pinball table you're looking for. Yeah, just a, just so many different so much content on this machine. Load something right quick. Pull this back out. Go down the wheel. Here you got some more of your arcade 
different arcade systems, Sega Model 3, Sega, Naomi. This is where you'll find like your Marvel, the original Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Let's open this folder right quick. There's a good classic. This go look at a different folder. Yeah, it, it takes you a, a couple weeks to learn the menu system where everything's at. Like you got most of the fighting games kind of bunched up in one. You got all your all your Street Fighters right here, not all of them, but some of the newer ones, and then the old school classics on the arcade wheel, like Street Fighter One, Two, Three, and Turbo, and all that. All those versions. Here you have the not the newest, but a fairly new version of Mortal Kombat. Got Injustice, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinity, just a ton, a ton of games. Now most of these are the PC ports, some of them are the actual arcade, arcade uh, ROMs, but most of them are, like the newer games are usually the PC versions of them, not the Xbox or the Sony PlayStation versions. Yeah, so this is where I'm fighting games on here. You, I mean, I, would, I could just spend hours on the, the amount of games on here, but you pretty much get the idea. Here's some of the old school, or not old school, but the newer Raw Thrills, Techno Parry games. Terror Drum, that's a pretty, pretty awesome. Pretty, I think it's a homemade game. I'm not sure. It's got all the all the classic horror movie guys on in the fighting game genre. Pretty cool. Here's where all the zombie games are. You get your racing games. Everything's pretty much lumped up in kind of the kind of by each other for genre. So if you're looking for stuff like fighting or racing, it's not too hard to find. Here's where we've got some sports section, like it's got Madden 20, Madden 19, NBA 2K20. So it's got tons of, there's not just old stuff, there's new stuff. What I really like is that, that they up constantly are upgrading the system, or for game content. So every once, you know, uh, if you see, uh, another cool feature is you get, when you buy a system from Extreme Home Arcades, you only pay for the customization and the hardware. All the software and all the games are pretty much thrown in for free. So that gives you free updates for life. So you can send in your hard drive every you know six months and they'll update it for free for you. Send it back and whatever new games they've added in between you know that time will be on the new update on your hard drive. So I've already got a secondary hard drive with the update. I haven't installed it yet. So this is my original April, I think April build. Or March revision or whatever whatever version they were doing at that time here we're in some of the consoles you got your, some of your old school consoles starting with like turbo graphics Nintendo 64 Atari was up before that I believe or some of the more obscure <laughs> consoles that I didn't see as a kid you got hack versions of games there's just I mean it's just insane 70,000 games worth now, it's not all 70,000 different games. There's lots of versions of the same game. And there's a cool search feature, which I'm coming up, come down here and find the search feature. Let's see, it should be right down here. There we go. Almost, there we go. So yeah, if you go into the hyperspin search, you can look for look for your particular game that you, you want to play. Like if you want to play Mortal Kombat 2 or, you know, Super Mario 3 or whatever, it's going to show you all the different versions of those games. So it's not like 70,000 games. There's tons of, you know, different versions of Mortal Kombat 2 if you were looking just for that particular one. So you might be able to find, you know, 10, 
10 different versions of that game. So it's, but still, you'll never run out of content. It seems like you can play a different game every, you know, a couple different games every day for the rest of your life and never have to go back to the same game. There's just that much content on here. Another thing I do like is if, uh, if you, there's a game on here that you want to play that's not on here, you can, you know, contact David and if he can find a ROM for it or whatever, he'll put it on here. So the next time you send it in to be updated, you go into this customer request folder and you'll find other games that other extreme home arcade owners have asked David to put on the machine. So it's easily, you know, you, you might find it. If you request it, you, it might, it might show up here, which is pretty cool. This is just a few games that they added during the, whenever they updated this particular update that customers requested. Now this unit isn't cheap. It is, you know, it is the upper tier of arcade units that you could buy for sale today, whether it be the Mega Cade, the pedestal version, or this this game box. I think I paid uh, thirty two hundred configured as is, and you know I would have done more upgrades to it. I probably would have had the illuminated buttons, illuminated trackball, maybe illuminated uh, joysticks as well. I don't really use a the Tron or the um, flight stick or the spinner, so I probably wouldn't add those. But I definitely would have added you know the steering wheel or something something else like that. Another thing I did have him add, though, was the two Xbox 360 controllers so I could play all the console games, you know, as they were intended to play, like, you know, Nintendo games or Super Nintendo, Dreamcast, all those. Most of them are mapped into the control stick, so you could use the joysticks and buttons if you wanted to, but it's just a lot easier to, you know, use them, use a, a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller just because... That's the way the games are intended to set up. And some of them you have to with the with the dual analogs. You got to have those. But I'm glad they're included in the system. Let's check out some Marvel vs. Capcom 3. All right. Show him how it select another game. Definitely not as good as the second version, Marvel vs. Capcom 2, but you gotta like the updated graphics for sure. Arcade mode. That's yeah, been a minute since I played this game. Normal. Right, about to get handled. Yeah, if they would have came correct with a proper lineup, I would have really enjoyed playing this game. But after playing Marvel vs. Capcom 2, it's like, how could you take out all the good X Men? Or not all of them, but you know, most of them. And then all we're left is this small little lineup. I'm like, man. It should have been like double the size of Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Anyway, let's see, let's go. A big Doctor Doom fan. Always like to throw in a Street Fighter. And let's go with the. Uh, Oh yeah, see Hulk ain't in this one? I'm always thrown off. Like where where's my characters at? Boy, oh, Hulk is this one, I'm tipping. It's Juggernaut that's not in this version. Sometimes I like to go with all the the whole bruiser team. But you can't do that if you don't got the juggernaut. Ever since I played this game, I'm not sure how the buttons are even mapped in. I'll 
figure it out though. Oh yeah, there we go. If I can spam my plasma beam, we're all good. Yeah, those graphics are, man, they definitely blow Mar Marvel vs. Capcom 2 out of the water. Trying to figure out this button layout here, but I got my couple basic moves down. I'm a spammer in the arcades, I'll admit it. I'll sit there and spam fireballs or we're playing Mortal Kombat, I'll spam my spear, my my ice attacks from Scorpion all day. Yeah, you can see how good it plays though with this Extreme Home Arcade game box. I mean, and all the systems from Extreme Home Arcades, man, the games just, they play great. Every once in a while you might run into a bad ROM here or there, or something that doesn't load right, but chances are there's an easy fix. Well, maybe not easy in some instances, but if the game's on here, it's, it's working in some way, shape, or form. It might not be configured for your particular machine, but there's an easy workaround and you'll be able to figure it out either through the community or from contacting Extreme Home Arcades themselves. Their customer service is so amazing. If you have any problems with your machine, they're always happy to help you out. And the community behind behind the games of the system is just, you know, amazing. You got some great people that are doing amazing stuff with their machines and are a lot more technically knowledgeable than I am or, you know, than your average Joe. Anyway, you get the idea of this game. Let me back out and play something else. So yeah, it's a PC port, so you gotta back out like a PC. You find the combination of back out buttons here. Let's check out some Monster Bash Pinball on the future pinball wheel. One of my favorite real pinball machines to play in real life. Here we go. It's probably in my top 10 of pinball machines. In fact, I, I have a couple real pinball machines and I would definitely like to add this machine to my collection someday. What I like about the future pinball tables is you could uh, switch the viewpoint. Like I think visual pinball and a few of the other ones you have a fixed viewpoint so you can't switch it at all. Or this you could change to all these different angles. I personally like the full table number two. Let's uh, throw some quarters in and get it started. Now the object of the game is to get the band playing. All the universal monsters, you want to shoot their respective ramps three or four times to open them up and get their uh, instrument. And once you have all the instruments, the band will start. And that's when the fun begins. Let's watch the ball and get going here. What I like about the these machines is they have the, uh, the uh, a real tilt nudge programmed in so if your ball gets stuck you're able to hit the nudge button and knock your ball free but if you do it too much you will tilt the machine too just like in real life oh Drano Try to get Frankenstein lit up. You Once you get Frankenstein going, you get the first multi ball. Come on. Oh, 
Drano again. This is definitely one of the better pinball tables, emulated tables on the on the pinball wheel here. Some of them don't play very great. Like you'll have the ball will skip around, or the you'll have a serious like half second delay between pressing the buttons and having your flippers react. So it makes it really hard to play some of those games that aren't you know tuned in very good. Oh, okay, then I got Frankenstein going here. Let me shoot the ball under him and see if I can get that multi ball started. Yeah, so there are definitely some duds in the future pinball. There's some bad ROMs and there's some games that just, just play terribly, but all in all, you find the ones that work and you know they're a lot of fun. Even though emulation is not the best way to, you know, play video pinball, but they'll get you by. Oh, come on. Come on, Frankenstein. Alright. Oh, we'll get the ball stuck again. Oh, there we go. I just can't get Frankenstein for nothing. Oh, that's it. Well, I didn't get the multi ball, but you got a little idea of Monster Bash there. Let's try something else. Let's play some classic arcade punch out. One of the most iconic boxing video games of all time. I used to love this game in the arcade. You'd always know it was there too, just because that big ass green silhouette, or you'd hear that look, look, body blow, body blow. Definitely the sounds, sights and sound of this game are, you know, just very nostalgic. Now one little thing about the uh, arcade classics is uh, you notice you got the bezels on the side because uh, the aspect ratio, you know, obviously this game wasn't designed for flat screen TVs back in 1984, but uh, you can get rid of the bezel if you don't like to look at the sides, simply by holding the player one start and pressing up on the player one joystick. You can see the, the bezel's gone, bring it back, take it away. There's, al there's also a few other little features with the, the player one start. So if you press player one start and you press down, you'll pause the game anytime. You can pause any game at any time. If you hold the player one button down and uh, hold the joystick left, I believe it reboots the game. And if you do a uh, player one start to the right, it'll bring up this little menu. In this little menu, you can have a lot of uh, customization options. You can change around like the video some of the video resolution, take in and out scan lines, or you can map the buttons however you, you know, to whatever you want. Basically, whatever combination you feel is best for that particular game. And you can access the cheats through this little window too. All kinds of cool stuff. Every arcade game in the arcade classics folder, you're able to bring up this little window. Well, let's go back to the game. Oh, we got to pause, unpause it, put some quarters in, and get to playing. This game is so iconic, you know, people still are referring, if you're in the fighting game and you don't got a good chin, you're referring to as Glass Joe. That's pretty iconic, you know. This game had to stand the test of time. 
Man, I haven't played this in forever. Let's see. It. Okay. And the dodge. How do I block? I just press up to dodge. Down to block down. Okay. When their eyes light yellow, they throw a punch at you. Come on. Man. Can't lose the glass, Joe. That'd be terrible. Man, I think you lose your man card if you get KO'd by Glass Joe. Even back in the day, you get clowned on as a kid. Oh. Oh. Come on now. Oh, Glass Joe's hurting me. Say it ain't so. Oh, there we go. Stay down, punk. a secret to catch him catch him with a body shot when he's running in on you oh he's done ko still got them punch out skills oh piston hurricane yeah this is where i would start getting whooped yeah going to mom and asking her for another quarter mom can i get another quarter but but i'll beat him this time i i, I swear i will Come on, Piston. He's blocking everything. Oh, that's right. I think he was a uh, uh, vulnerable to the body shot when he goes and does his combination. Oh, there we go. Widescreen TVs. Oh no, he's handling me. I'm ducking my shots. That's what I'm getting him with the body shots. Spam some body shots on him. Oh, come on, get him with the. Can't take the body shots, huh? You, you're all muscle up top. You should have worked on some core, sucker. Hit the gym. You work on that midsection. Work on that core. Oh, all right. I'm talking too much crap. He's back. Oh, oh, snap. Catch him, catch him. Oh, put me down. Right in the face. Sucker, take that. Oh, uh, down you went. Oh, uh, caught you with them jabs. Uh-oh, he's back up. Man, I don't remember how to do my, my KO punch. Oh, that's a TKO right there. Dang. I'd have been stoked in the arcades. One quarter to get past Piston Hurricane. Oh, look at that classic ball bull. Yeah, this game is straight iconic. Let's see how long it takes in the, before I fall asleep from the ball bull uppercut. Oh. Oh. I'm right back up at you. You ain't got nothing. Uh oh. Man, how am I going to do that special punch? Just gotta time that perfectly, I think. I know that's how it was on the Nintendo version. Just time that. Oh. Time that bull charge and hit him right in the gut and he'd be KO'd. Oh, this time I'm KO'd. And that's it. The challenger is done. <laughs> I'll play another game. Here we are under the Atomus wave menu. And let's play some Dirty Pig Skin Football. I've never played this game before. Never even seen this game before. Let's see what it's all about. That's what I like about the, uh, the system 
from Extreme Home Arcades, you could play a new game every day for the rest of your life and you still wouldn't you know, come close to playing all the games that are on here. Looks kind of like an NFL Blitz knockoff. different team teams I guess okay it's kind of a, a spoofy version of maybe NFL Blitz like the all-star of the hitmen the, the bad girls the, the ghouls the zombies the wolf clan <laughs> cell block five <laughs> you got your prisoners let's go with the, uh, the wrestlers the Hulkamaniacs the brother I'm going against the bad girls. Okay, it's out. It's outside the club. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Pretty basic it looks like. I got the ball for no kickoff or nothing. Just get right into it. Okay. Let's see how. Oh, I got somebody open. Oh, I almost got attacked. Oh yeah, to the house. Touchdown! That was that like Hillbilly Jim? A oh, moonshine, yo. And defense down. Take a play. Oh. Get her, get her, get her. Yeah. Save the TD. Little, is that Suki Suki? Oh man, this is funny. Do it. Get her. Don't let her. Oh, that was bad. That was me. Bad defense. Okay, let's choose the play here. The brain buster. Hey, Billy Jim's open. Come on, we'll take you to the house. Oh. Back. Oh yeah. This is kind of fun. Come on, get her. Oh. Destroyed her. Super size. That's alignment, alright. Oh, that was my bad. I left the coverage. Try to get a sack. Oh. It's all right. It's like two buttons on this game, so you can't really mess up. Oh, unless you throw the pick. Oh, I didn't even see her sitting there. Wow. Terrible. Oh, juke me. I missed the tackle. Dang, I'm getting abused now. Suki Suki is laying it on me. I was trying to sneak down the side. She caught me. Oh, I guess she tried this one. Get that first down. Billy Jim is wide open for the score. Oh, that's a win on the last play of the game. Oh, that's how you see. That's how you do it. Close it out in style. Well, there you have a pigskin foot brawl. Definitely kind of a knockoff the NFL Blitz or Jerry Glanville's pigskin foot brawl. I remember that one back in the day. Anyway, cool little, cool little game. Let's check out some Golden Tee Complete. This has every Golden Tee up to 2006 ever made.
which is pretty cool because I, I have the 2020 home edition and the reason why I got the 2020 home edition golden tee was because I was playing a lot of the golden tee complete here on this machine and I was you know I got I didn't even say I got tired but I wanted more courses and this has about I don't know 12 or 20 courses for the newest version that's on here and I was I just needed more 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 track wall we're using the controls here thanks Pat I'm really glad to be here Try some Ocalo here. Put them coins in like the real thing. Okay. Decent, decent. Oh yeah, let's see. Good. right and left movement and your backspin if you want no backspin a little bit too. yeah that's all right oh i blew it past the hole Like I'm a little rusty at this game. Let's see. No, let's go back and just try to let the wind carry it back to the fairway. Hopefully, get a good roll. So come just in the first cut. It should be no problem. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that's what I'm looking for. Get a little backspin on that. I think the wind's gonna take it. So. Yeah, I guess I didn't need the backspin. Oh man, I'm just destroying the putts here. Oh, that's where the golden tee will get you right there. You think you're on the putter and you're actually on a pitching wedge and you just scuff the ball. One thing I do like though, just like the arcade, you hit a bad shot. Oh, it cost me another quarter for a mulligan. No problem. Okay, here's what. So, see, I have in the sand wedge. I want to go to a putter here. So, I'll make that same stupid mistake. Just blast it in there. Back to even par. Man. Let's see, I think we just want to add some backspin to that. Let's see how that goes. Oh, no backspin either. Ooh, almost spun it in the water. Okay, see, this is where I'd expect to have a sandwich in my hand, but I'm going to switch back to the putter. Blast it in the hole for the birdie. Anyway, this plays just like the arcade version of Golden Tee. It sounds great, looks great, plays great. Awesome. Let's check out some Road Rash from the 3DO. I actually owned this system way back in the day. It was pretty cool. It was, it was definitely unique compared to everything else that was out at the time. A little pricey, but the games like Road Rash, Need for Speed, Return Fire, oh man, those were some classics to me. Tons of fun. This was definitely my favorite version of Road Rash too, compared to the Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo or some of the other ones I played. I think this is mapped to the joysticks and the buttons, so I won't be using the Xbox 360 controllers. But normally for some of the other 3DO games, I believe you use the, the Xbox controller. Let's get this sucker started here. Soundtrack was always dope. This is thrash mode. Let's see, Napa Valley. It's on fire right now, but let's get a little action in. Okay, we're about 
a punch and kick. There we go. That's all I need. Find a crowbar or chain and I'll be good to go. Out my way. Whoa. I'm trying to kiss an oak tree just yet. Oh, you just sped right past me. Right, oh. See what you get. Now, it's hard to believe that the graphics were cutting edge at the time. How pixelated and blocky it looks. Man, the, the game speed though is still pretty nice. It's fast. So they're still pushing some good frame rates. No weapons yet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trying to check out them great vineyards up close and personal. Ain't no time for wine tasting. Got some ass to kick. Oh. Yeah, nothing's more satisfying than knocking somebody into the guardrail at the split of the road. Oh, get back on there. Fourth place. Not too bad. Oh, just missed that minivan. Looks like a Dodge Aerostar. Come oh, on, sucker. Man, I don't see any weapons on this. I swear there used to be like chains and... Chains and whips and stuff. Oh, oh, just missed it. Actually, kind of a challenging course here. Just gonna get back up to speed. Man, that that damn Dodge Astro van's everywhere. So, yep, keep trying to take me out. There we go. I've got the sucker wide open now. Come on, in the level, in the level. I'm the number one. I'm about, about to make an epic crash. I can feel it coming. Got this thing packed. Wide open throttle. Come on. Whoa, pedestrian. He's about to get killed, lady. Oh, see. I don't know how I didn't wreck that. I'll take it, though. Get back up to speed. That's a shame I can't find get a weapon. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's how we do it. Finish number one. Anyway, there you have some road rash from 3DO. Oh, you know. Let's play a little bit of Resident Evil 2, the remake. This machine has just about all the Resident Evils on them. I believe everything but the, the third remake. It's got all the originals on the PlayStation and a couple of the newer PC ones, Resident Evil, I think it's whatever, seven or something like that. I believe this is the PC version of Resident Evil 2. Here we are at the very beginning of the game. Investigate the blood trail. Hello? Anybody there? It's an older game, but it still looks pretty damn good. 